ladies and gentlemen, here we are on Cloud Kingdom, and down in the bottom left-hand corner of the map, we have our red Protoss player from the team Prime, none other than Creator, runner-up at the Blizzard World Championship. His opponent here in the top right-hand corner, knocking off one of the best Zerg players in the world last week, says Ennis Hosa. No, it's in fact Western Wolves Sting, our pink Terran. Yeah, Sting just as of late, as we were mentioning, he's been making a bit of a splash in the uh, StarCraft world. Of course, he did very well IEM, taking first place over Grubby. Very close series, 3-2. Um, and actually, he's, this guy, man, he's he's got guts. I think that's what I want to put it as. He, I, I don't know, I, I've I got a bit of a name for him. I call him the Joker Terran because he's always throwing wrenches in here and there. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he loves mayhem. Uh, I think that's the best way to describe him. And and speaking of mayhem, we have an SEV sent out before that supply depot is anywhere near done. Yep. And we saw him five times against Lenok go for a very, very aggressive barracks play. But let's go ahead and uh, see now what Steen can do. Obviously, we're going to have some sort of proxy barracks. Looks like it's just going to be one for now. Yeah, I'm very curious as to what Steen's going to be going for here. And it looks just a little bit of pressure. And the thing is, a lot of Protoss players as of late have been cutting their first Zealot out, going for Stalker, uh, mm -hmm. just trying to save uh, as much resources as possible here and there. Uh, so I'm going to keep an eye on that gateway and see if Creator's been going that route. Because if not, it's going to be a little bit harder for him to hold this. He will lose about two to three probes if he doesn't make that Zealot. Okay, well, we'll see if he bypasses it here in a second. Or when he decides to scout, Creator could be a player, of course. He loves Vision with Observers later on in the game. He's the kind of player who's going to make three, four observers at a time. Uh, actually, I want to point out that Sting is actually making gas behind this, so we are going to see probably Proxy uh, Marauders, something along those lines. Um, and we'll find out here in just a second. But Creator wants to get Vision later on in the game, but doesn't Probe Scout all that early. Yeah, man, look, he wants to just go ahead and hold as much resources as early as he can. Uh, I think uh, Kibble was actually talking about it when we watched him um, play a, a couple weeks ago. He just he loves to keep every mineral possible and use it to the best ability to use it for his mid-game. But there you go. Tech Lab has been put down. It looks like we'll be moving into a Marauder here, and we'll see what uh, seems to be following up afterwards. A uh, common uh, follow-up, of course, could be a CC inside his main base. Just, uh, you don't want to put it at the natural because he might be a little bit fearful of uh, a counterattack. Right. But uh, First Marauder is now on the way, ticking away, and a Zealot has been created for Prime, our creator, so I think he's going to be okay. Yeah, and some Protoss players, who's not quite out of the woods yet, have been canceling that right at the very end if they don't detect any danger and then waiting for that soccer. Go but it looks in. like he is going to let it finish here. Just a couple of seconds left. See, here, here's the thing. These guys have met up so much. I found three series actually where Creator won um, the series overall between these three guys or between these two people, uh, and he, he just knows what Sting does. So he's going to play very, very safe here. And it looks like that Zealot's actually moving across the middle of the map here. Is Sting going to go ahead and group up some units? Yes, he's left one Marauder there. He might be. He's going to wait for the contested shells out, get a second Marauder, and push on in. And this could be a little bit on the deadly side if he catches that Stalker. That Stalker's a big deal. Yes, uh, because this Zealot is going to be oh, all the way across the map, and um, it looks like probably a third Supply Depot is going to be constructed here, and that should uh, keep Sting completely safe to this. There's oh, the wow. two uh, Marauders, and they are finally picked up on a bunker being constructed down at the bottom of the ramp, and the Zealot's actually being pulled around to just go back home. Uh, Creator's doing what he's can. He's kind of boosting out a Stalker here. He's getting that Zealot back, but here go Probes and a Stalker as well, going straight for the Marauders here. He's doing a good job of microing here, but Sting is always trying to snipe off Marauders or Stalkers if possible. And the Marauders, unfortunately, are taking a lot of damage from these probes. They will be pulling back the bunker, getting very close to complete, about 90%, and it looks like it will be finishing. And suddenly, Creator's uh, on the run back. Yeah, three workers have been killed so far, including uh, there was an SEV that just got destroyed there, but uh, the first Stalker falls. Two Marauders have fallen in addition to that, and it looks like Sting is going to fall back now to his bunker, which is going to remain pretty well defended. Uh, unfortunately, that SEV goes down, so the one on the high ground is not going to be finished. Yeah, that's going to slow down this rush a lot, but still the Marauders are a huge threat here. Uh, and I'm trying to look at Sting, and I'm looking at the production tab here, and he hasn't followed up quite yet. And there we go, he's following up with double racks. He does this very often. If he does a lot of damage, he'll just go all in. Won't even care anymore. He'll pull off half his SCVs and just move across the middle of the map, keep up aggression. He's very good at macroing behind uh, any aggression, but he's also very good at following up with a strong all in. And here we go. Marauders moving forward once again. Concussive shells slowing down these stalkers. Not even trying to micro that. You see a stutter step back from Sting. He's so darn good in his small engagements. And here we go. Pulling back. Probes got the surround here. And suddenly that actually is quite painful. Yeah, loses a lot of Marauders to this. His total workers killed count three to two, but of course he did delay that uh, that Nexus for so long. Looks like uh, Creator wants to put that out there. Now Creator's the kind of player who always remains so strong in the mid game. Gets that early expansion out. Starts working towards those gateways, that robotics facility, the double forges you were talking about before. Then his game plan is largely to, to keep himself safe against anything that could possibly hit him. Uh, he, he works very early towards a third base, keeps Stalker's position around so drops don't kill him, invests in his infrastructure, gets those double upgrades very early on. 
on, and then works his way up after that. But uh, his whole game plan is going to be changed now because of Sting. Doing such a good job here, keeping Marauder pressure up. Stalker taking out one there as well. And he's about to have another one pop out. I think he's trying to bait it in the corner here so he can pop out and kill off that Stalker, but no, it will oh, be able to retreat. It. Oh, he gets the concussor shells on it, but it will retreat. And a sentry mm. here as well. Going to make it a tad bit easier for him to micro this. Uh, look at this gateway control. It's, it's, it's amazing, but it looks like the Stalker will be pulling back. And finally, this rush should be done for a bit here. Um, I'm looking for a Robo, actually, from creator, because I want him to be following up to a safer route. I want him to get an observer mm -hmm. route and get an idea of what his opponent is doing. Uh, but after he gets that robo out, I really expect him to go double forge. He never really goes for an all-in except for a suddenly <laughs> no, going to fall up with a pylon here. Not a bad reaction to his opponent, though. It's yeah. a circumstance where creator maybe wouldn't do this against your average Terran player because he expects him to be following this up with maybe multiple command centers, something yeah. like that. Very light on the barracks production. But now, of course, this is Sting that he has to worry about. Another thing, too, this tech lab had actually been uh, done for a while, but he was counting on the fact that Sting was going to finish over at his barracks here that was proxied for a while. So he actually ended up starting that about 30 seconds after he could have. So this dim is actually going to be critically delayed. Well, Crater getting aggressive. Should see a couple of Zelds warped in very soon here. And looking at the natural wall for Sting, it's pretty well defended. He has a bunker there. He's got a couple of supply depots. Micro's being important here. A decent force field. Not the best, though, because the Marines can't pull back. Uh, it looks like he's going to go ahead and engage. Sting being a little bit advantageous, if you ask me. Uh, trying to snipe the sentry, and it will be pulled back. And Crater just putting on display here when it comes to his control. Yeah, that didn't work out at all for Sting. I mean, he ends up killing one Stalker. He damages a sentry. Uh, that was pretty much all the damage that was done. Now this uh, this little three-gate pressure is still intact and behind this. Creator's economy is starting to just run wild. He's chrono boosting probes up consistently. He's going to be up 40-plus uh, here in just a second, um, comfortably on two bases while Sting hasn't even been able to finish up his uh, second orbital command. Yeah, this is looking really scary for Sting. I, I wouldn't expect him to do anything until he gets the meta back out. Uh, and at that point, maybe uh, maybe try and circumvent everything. Good thing oh, over here, we got a rack still hitting, got a few Marines there. If he can catch a warping cycle mm -hmm. at the natural happening, he'll have a time where he can run in, snipe off some probes, and maybe slow down Crater a, a little bit. But for the most part, let's pull up the units tab really quick. Checking into the probes, we're at 44 to 36 with two meals. So relatively, everything's about even here. Uh, so sniping some probes could be a big deal here for Sting. We'll keep an eye on that as his command center is now moving down to the natural. I mean, you can see Crater, of course, wasn't going all in with that pylon up at the front, he decided to just use it to go ahead and contain his opponent for a while, which he has successfully done. This orbital command has already floated back home, and Sting's already oversaturated, way oversaturated on his one base, and starting to just chew through that with double mules very quickly. At the same time, of course, Creator was trying to stay defensive back at home, ends up uh, warping against some zealots to stay safe. It looks like the Marines are going to kill a unit or two, but they will eventually all die. Well, the good thing about these four Marines is they've effectively made Creator pull back, so they can get his command center down. If you look at the natural, those units are actually pushing across the middle of the map. Uh, there, there are actually going to go ahead and sandwich these units to the side here. Going to try and get that sentry in. Man, Sting does this so much. If he sees a weak unit, he just goes all in for it every time. I love it, man. It's It just shows his personality. But there's a... The Creator Prime we know here, man. Double Forge now on the way, finally. A little bit late, but we've had a bit of right. a hectic early game. Right, but still, I mean, this when all is said and done, the dust settles, this is very this Creator is Prime creator, style. Yeah. Exactly. Double upgrades coming on now. Uh, just when those are about 65 seconds away, he's going to put down that Twilight Council, work yep. towards 2-2, two, two, get that third Colossus, put down a third base, research 3-3 three, three as he's moving out and get that very early on. Of course, all of this is going to seem delayed, but that was just due to the uh, shenanigans that we saw at the beginning from Sting. Sting is hitting with a relative strong bio timing though this is completely upgrade less he has nothing behind this but a couple of uh, of medevacs and now is his time to strike because afterwards uh, creator's gonna get very strong very quickly yeah very true here and he's gonna go ahead and try and push up this ramp with the claws out here uh he's gonna have to pull back the colossus mm. is way too strong to go up that ramp he would lose half his units before he even gets a full engagement on so uh, at this point if sting wants to do anything and if i know sting he'll probably pull off one medevac pull it down to the right and just try and multitask his opponent and maybe get a command center behind this uh he's gone for plus one weapons it looks like so that's finally on the way and actually a second starport is already on the way he really wants to get rid of those colossus all right, well, we'll see if he can do that, but he's already playing the catch-up game, and of course, this is the versatility of the Protoss player, too, who could, who can, after that Twilight Council goes down, decide to slap down a Templar Archives afterwards and start transitioning up into Storm into Archons afterwards, and it's always that tech switch that's so hard for Terran players to deal with. Ah, great, now I've made the second starport. I can pump out a ton of Vikings. I can really deal with this, but that left my army on the ground weak. You stop with Colossi, you start making Templar, and all of a sudden, my plan is null and void. Very, very true here, and here we go. A drop heading straight into the main, but look at this. Creator's always on top of his game. He no sting to a T here. And we'll be catching him, uh, trying to pull back with a good thing the medevacs were able to juke and jive here. Uh, and then we'll be, of course, escaping. And they will take out one probe as well. Uh, but 
It looks like from here, Sting is effectively contained on the outside of the map. He can't get into Creator, and that's what Creator does so well. He defends very nicely. He always has patches of units and places to do drops. He never loses to a drop, it seems like, ever. And he follows up with Blink, of course, his charge outs. He's going to wait until he gets those um, necessary upgrades he needs for his upgraded units, and he'll be good to go. Yeah, and not only does Creator just not die to drops, he remains defensive everywhere else. He puts his forges in the perfect position that they're not going to get Good dropped. Point. They have to com they have to continually move across uh, the vision of a lot of units in order to be able to go after that. A little bit eye on the Chrono Boost there, but uh, hopefully he'll rectify that here soon. And the other issue is that you see a lot of Terran players when they know they're playing Creator Prime, they know, okay, well, I've got to stay on my upgrades early and often, otherwise I've got to kill them before that moment. So usually they're at the point where they're researching upgrades a little bit faster than they would like to, but usually they're not that far behind. In this case, case, Sting is years behind. His plus one weapons is just now going to finish in about 15 seconds, and it looks like his uh, forces may actually hit before that happens, um, but Creator's well on his way to finishing 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, I just really like the position that Creator is in. Um, he's got the 2-2 two -two on the way, as you just mentioned, and he just finished up Blink, and with that Blink finishing up, that kind of opens up avenues for him to grab a third. I'm kind of uh, a little bit perplexed as to why he hasn't moved towards it quite yet. He's got definitely enough units to de defend any drop. He's got a nice Observer uh, count on the field as well. Uh, so I should be seeing that third Nexus from him pretty soon. But at this point, Sting again just being aggression, pushing on it. And there's that probe, actually. He was about to do so. Uh, and I, I'm just I'm trying to figure out what Sting's going to do here, because uh, I just feel like he can't. He's trying so hard to find a point of interest, somewhere we can go in and do something. But he, he's just stuck. I think that's the best yeah. word I can put. No, you're exactly right. Uh, there's a lot of issues uh, going for him right now, too, uh, especially with the Colossus count continues to increase. Yes, he's doing a nice job at producing a lot of Vikings, but behind this, his bio forces are a little bit down, and he has to start cutting corners elsewhere. We can see no third command center yet, and with his main quickly mining out, in fact, that's going to be gone very soon, within seconds, actually, um, he's going to have to expand or all in pretty soon. Yeah, I think Sting's going to try and do his, his Sting standard play, try and do a distraction with something, and then just try and push up the mi middle with like some kind of all-in with all of that CVs. It's getting to the point where the, a command center at this point would just be worthless, so he would be too far behind. He would just die to any push. Uh, and so Sting, he's grabbing the Zelnaga, and there comes a big group of units there. Did he put one SCVs with that at all? Uh, that's what I'm not a little bit yet. worried about. Just one, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, not enough quite yet. Uh, so he's just going to go uh, ahead there we and... Go. There we go. There's the SCPs. Only a few, though. Uh, go there they go. There <laughs> we are. I was like, where's, where's this SCP? This is what he does. And yeah. here he goes. Head straight to that third. He wants to kill off that third if possible. And then from there, snipe off the Colossi. If he snipes off the Colossi, perhaps he can take out the army or even pull back and get a third, depending on what he chooses to do. And he's just going to oversaturate that base initially for a while, produce as big of an army as he possibly can and attack with 1-1. One, one. The problem is his opponent's 2-2 two, two did already finish up. All these units are on move command being rallied across the map. He finally realizes it and starts to uh, fight these zealots up at the front. But can he do any damage here at his opponent's natural? <gasps> units are getting a position. He scans up to the top. A lot of probes are transferring for now, and he does get a pretty decent engagement. He actually takes out one of the Colossi very, very quickly. More of them are actually falling rapidly thereafter. The Colossi not going to be too much of a factor that will stay be able to continue to rally back against this. Finishes off the last Colossus. Has a couple of oh Vikings. My gosh. Had almost the perfect amount of Vikings actually going into that. Yeah. Jeez, uh, I think Creator was dealing too much of the Zealots going into the natural here, but it looks like just finally the upgrades are going to be too much. He's going to be able to break through Sting, but for a second there, that was really scary. Creator allowed Sting to actually get up into his natural, but with uh, the final Stalkers and the Pro being pulled off the line, the few Zealots is going to chase back this army here. And remember, Sting is brought all of SCP. That's game. GG. GG. That was his moment to strike, though. He came very close yeah. to actually making that work. But uh, Creator Prime takes game number one here of this best of nine. Don't forget, another $500 on the line for the winner. And Sting has a $100 bounty on his head right now for uh, winning that first game, or for winning that first set, I should say, against Leonok last week. Yeah, awesome game right there. And again, that was just from the early aggression and him not really doing too much damage. For the most part, Creator dealt with it very nicely. I mean, he didn't lose too many stalkers that he, that was out of his control from there. Uh, and and then as we followed up into the mid game, we had an expansion go up. Creator just got too far ahead very, very quickly. And, and of course, the upgrade follow up, which is just standard oh, yeah. creator. That's what he does. All right, guys. Well, we are going to run to a commercial break. While you're away, why don't you follow our brand new SE2 caster on Twitter? He is at Robin Tivo. You can find him there. Tweet at him uh, a bunch of random things. We usually ask a, a question of the day, and I'm trying to think what we should do. I'll have one for you guys when we get <laughs> back from the break, though. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back for game number two. One, two. 